Hi guys, APK Time has a new URL. So we're gonna go get that and then we're gonna get Terrarium TV ad free. So I'm on my Fire Stick in settings. If you haven't already done so, make sure you go over to your device and developer options. Make sure you turn both of these on. Thank you, go back to your home screen. So first you need to uninstall a previous version of Terrarium TV. First we're going to go in and we're going to back up. So go over to the top, click on that, scroll down to settings. All right, here you're going to go down towards bottom. Okay. So this is restore. We're going to go into that when we install the new one. So here we go. I'm going to select this auto backup, but we're going to back it up anyway, just in case that fails. Okay. So select the settings, the favorites, watched episodes, and you'll get a little pop-up that is successful. So now that we've done that, we're going to back out to the home screen, go into your apps, I'm holding down the home button and you get this menu, click on apps and find your terrarium and you have a button on your remote with three lines, click on there and you'll see you can move to front or you can uninstall. So we're going to uninstall our old version. You can go over to the search box or you can speak into your voice remote. Downloader. Okay, so click on Downloader. And there's some update notes, hit OK. And then you want to scroll over to the side. Go down to Settings. You want to make sure all three of these are checked on. Hit yes, scroll back over. Okay, now I can scroll up to home and you're gonna start typing in this box. Go to the end and the address is bit.ly forward slash lowercase apk time z t all right scroll down to go all right so here you go so you'll see all the things they have you can install but right here is APK time and you can see it was updated you can click on that now scroll down to install all right now you can scroll down hit done and now you can delete this installation package all right, now you're going to go to your home screen and hold down the button on your remote with the home. That'll launch this menu, click apps and now scroll to the bottom and you can use your remote. There's a button there with three lines. Click on that and hit move to front. All right, now when you hit home, you'll see it's at the front. So open it up. All right, so here we go. If you get an ad, just hit your back button. And if you're new to APK time, take a look around. There's a lot of great categories here. So take a look. There's a lot of things here that you might like. Some of them are device specific. So it doesn't install on your device and it's not for your device. There are some categories here for different devices. 
I want a fire stick, so I'm going to go into the fire device. So this is one you want to use for Terrarium TV. It says fire. Click over to download. And you can see your progress down at the bottom next to video where it says downloading. While we're waiting for that, you can see this is version 1.8.3 for a fire. And here it says, make sure to uninstall previous versions of this APK before downloading this version. Though I heard it would overinstall once you have this version. So next time you can try overinstalling. When there's an update, you can come in here and hit download and see if it works. If not, then you would go and uninstall. But make sure you back up first. And this is the ad-free version. Also, take a look at the bottom where it says it's premium and unlocked and there will be no forced updates. So in order to use the ad-free version, there won't be any updates from Terrarium. You have to come in here and do them manually. Okay, our download's complete, so scroll down now to the bottom and over to install. Okay, so you get your message. It was installed. You can scroll down to open. Alright, so now you can choose your player. I recommend using the EXO player. There have been some reported crashes with some of the other ones. Though some have had some good luck with VLC player with buffering issues. Um, so if you're having buffering issues, you might want to try VLC. Um, also to stop buffering, you can just hit pause on your remote and give it about a minute to catch up. So I'm going to go with EXO player. And this tells you what's new. Auto switch to alternate subtitle provider if the default one isn't working. Added result limit for all you see, default 20. Added two real debris providers and two movie providers. Okay, you can hit OK on that. And if you want to use it, you need to accept this. All right, so first thing we're going to do is go into backup in our settings. All right, so right now, none of the settings are done. A lot of these are a personal preference. If you don't want to see the captures come up, you're going to click that. You probably want to check on these, the Android TV options. You can add your all you see, your real debris. Okay, I already had backed mine up, so I'm going to restore my settings. And it says successful, but you need to restart for it to take effect. Or you can simply hit the home button. Okay, so now we need to get it. It's in our apps, and the shortcut for that is holding down the home button. All right, and it's usually at the bottom. Scroll down. So we want to move it to the top. You do that by pressing the remote, the button with the three lines. Scroll down, move to front, and if you hit home, you'll see it's going to pop up at the front. So I'm going to relaunch it. And here we go. I had mine defaulted to movies, so I know that it's taken effect and my settings are now restored. Okay, very good. Let's take a look at something. Let's try Spider-Man. And you'll get this pop-up. It's just telling you that you can hold down your center remote to launch the links. And leave it checked, and then don't show again. Hit OK. 
So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hold down my center remote. And you can switch players up there at the top as well. So if your player isn't working well, you can try the other players. You have to get the MX and the VLC separately. VLC you can just get by holding down your voice remote and asking for VLC and then you can download it that way. MX, I believe there's an MX player in APK time. All right, so let's give a link a try. Just hit back to get rid of that message and then you can scroll down and select the link. Just gonna play. And it's loading up. All right, great. All right, and backing out, you can see there's no ads. So it's working perfectly. So let me give you a little tip. If you go up here to the search box, it'll pull up the box. And if you have an Alexa on your remote, you can search with voice as long as this box is open. Aliens. Alien. Okay. There we go. So that's a nice little thing. All right. And that's it, guys. You can switch up here to the different genres. Okay everyone, thanks for watching and enjoy your TV. I'll see you guys soon. So my display looked a little bit cut off. So I'm gonna show you. You go into settings. Scroll over to display. So here you go, you can choose here your video resolution and then you get this calibrate display. So what you have to do is hit the, um, the circle on your remote until you get those arrows fitting in the screen so then nothing will be cut off. Go ahead and hit accept if it looks good to you and it does something with the scale. So let's go back into terrarium and let's see if it looks better. And it does, nothing's cut off now, so that's a very easy fix if you're finding it's cut off a little bit. Alrighty guys, thank you.